If you've ever heard ringing in your ears, then your hearing could be permanently damaged. And once it's gone, it ain't coming back. About 37 million Americans deal with hearing loss, and a lot of it can be prevented. You see, we're born with ear cells that bend when sound touches them. But when the sound is too loud, they die. And the scariest part is, you might not notice until it's too late. So if you wanna keep hearing for a long time, then listen to your health teacher and wear protection. At music festivals, me and my friends will hang out under a speaker for hours. One time my friend Jeff saw me with my earplugs in and he said, <laughs> What are you, a grandpa? I actually do plan to be that grandpa when I'm 70 years old, so I just brushed it off. But just two hours later, as I was dancing and having a great time, he came up to me with his hands out, begging for my earplugs. <laughs> Even though he was sewer scum, I let him use them for about five minutes and then I took him back because it was way too loud. Ever since then, he's become an earplug evangelist. There are plenty of good earplug options out there for you, so I bought the five most popular ones on Amazon and tested them all out so you don't have to. Now these are high fidelity earplugs that don't muffle the sound like those foam ones do. They only evenly lower the volume across frequencies. So everything sounds similar, just not as loud. I'll rank them all for you based on their sound quality, their comfort, and their value. Each has its own pros and cons, so figure out which one works best for you. Starting off with number five, is the vibes. When you open the case, it has a handwritten note in there, which is a really nice touch. But the earplugs and the plastic case look kind of cheap, and the sound was my least favorite out of all of them. The box says 15 dBs in reduction, but this one blocked out everything, which is good for really loud environments, but I didn't even like the sound profile. The mids and highs were super cut out, and the bass was pretty loud still, so it just had this muffled sound as if you were underwater. I give these a two out of five. And if you wanna pull them out so you could hear a little bit more, they fall out so easily. If I wore these to an event, I'd probably lose them in five minutes. So for comfort, I'm gonna give these a two out of five. At $23, they are cheap, but I don't think they're worth it. So for value, I give these a two out of five. These are easily my least favorite out of all of them and I don't know why they're so popular. Coming in at number four, we have the Loop earplugs. These ones look very different from the others, and some people like them, some people don't. It's all personal preference. Case is a cheap plastic case, and it's pretty flimsy, so I don't know how long that would last. But let's jump into the sound. The loops cut out the mids a lot, and so it could be hard to hear vocals and keys, pads, things like that. But the highs and the lows come through pretty well. This one also blocks out a lot of the sound, like the vibes, but it definitely sounds better. These will keep you protected for extremely loud events. So overall, I give these a three and a half out of five. They're also very comfortable. They fit perfectly in my ear, like they were meant to be. So I give these a five out of five on comfort. Now for the value, these are pretty expensive at around $40. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five because I don't love the sound profile. Now, if you're going to super loud events, then these are probably your best bet because they block out a lot of sound, more so than the next three that are coming up. And up next, we have the Moomba. These come with a small shell and an aluminum case. And right off the bat, the case feels a little flimsy, like it'll dent or break over time, but only time will tell. Now the sound is pretty decent. It has an even profile, but the mids are cut out a lot more than the others, so your vocals might be hard to hear. It also has a decent amount of bass coming through, and so it can give that slight muffled sound, but it's not bad. Definitely a way better sound quality than the vibes. So I'll give these a three out of five. For comfort, these rest in my ear very easily and they're layered so they don't fall out. When I put them in, it feels thick and secure in my ear. So I'm gonna give these a five out of five. For value, these are one of the cheaper ones at around 20 bucks, which is a great deal. However, I'm not totally in love with the sound profile and to me, that's the most important thing. So I'm gonna give these a four out of five. Coming in at number two, we have the Eargasm. Now I've been using these for a while and these have been my go-to. The case is the best. It's tough, durable, and mine has taken a beating, but it's a survivor. The sound is great. It has an amazing profile with even reduction across all levels, and music doesn't sound muffled at all. Out of all the earplugs, I think these have the best sound, so I'm gonna give these a five out of five. They're also very comfortable in my ear. The layers feel thick and sturdy like the Moomba, and I can keep them in my ears all night without even noticing. They also come with a smaller adjustment for smaller ears, 
And while they're not as comfortable as the Loop earplugs, they're still great. So I give these a four and a half out of five. Now at $40, these are the highest priced earplugs. And so if you have the money to spend, I would recommend these for quality. But in terms of value, I'm gonna give these a two out of five just cause they're way more expensive than the other ones. Now I thought that Eargasms were gonna be my favorite, but I was shocked at number one and that is the HearProtect. The HearProtect, these are number one by far. The sound has even attenuation and the mids and the highs come through really clearly. So vocals sound great. It doesn't muffle the sound at all. However, these don't block out as much sound as some of the other ones, like the loop or the vibes. And so if you're going to really, really loud events, these might not be the best choice. So for sound, I give these a four out of five. Now these are pretty comfortable, but the rubber layers feel kind of flimsy compared to the Eargasm or the Moombas. Regardless, they still won't fall out even with a lot of head movement. So I give these a four out of five. Now for 20 bucks, these cannot be beat. They come with a string, aluminum case, size tips, and a second pair. There are two pairs for 20 bucks. That makes them 10 bucks each. And that is unbeatable in terms of value. So I give these a five out of five. Overall, if you want the best value, go for the Hear Protects, two for 20 bucks, but remember, they don't block as much sound out as the other options. If you're going to super, super loud events, then the loop will probably protect your ears the best. And if you're willing to splurge a little bit more, then the eargasms are for you. I put links in the description down below if you wanna check any of these out. And remember, if you plan to go feral at a rave, use protection.